All right, what's going on everybody? Kyle McHugh here and welcome back to the channel. Here we talk about marathon training and everything that that may entail. So today we are not going out for a run. We're not doing a specific workout. Today we are taking these shoes and another pair um, that have had hundreds of miles run in them and we're gonna make them look just like this. It's pretty close to brand new. So stick around and I'm gonna show you how I clean my running shoes. <laughs> Okay guys, so a little disclaimer right off the bat. I have only done this twice. Um, I do not know if this will work for every pair of running shoes, uh, no guarantees, but I can say I've gone through this process with two pairs of shoes. I did it first with the Endorphin Speeds that I've run over 350 miles in, and I think they look really good. Um, I'll, show, I'll show a little bit more towards the end once we get through the process. And then I recently did it. You'll see all the footage of me doing it with the Hoka One One Clifton Edges. Um, they're more of a gray shoe to begin with, but I think the midsole color really pops again, so I'm pretty excited about that. So, without further ado, let's get into how I clean my running shoes. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and take the laces out of the shoes. You can see here, I had a little bit of struggle with this. I don't know why. It's just a little bit awkward filming yourself. But yeah, first things first, get those laces out. This is also about the time that I thought it would be a good idea to strap the GoPro to my head with pre-wrap. You can see here, a little bit of a fail. I don't think I used any of the footage actually. So once you get the laces out, you're gonna do a first scrub and I use Shout Triple Action Clings, Penetrates, and Lifts. Yeah, this is just, I'll bring it up here. This is just like a, I don't know, like a clothes spray on. We spray it on like our kitchen towels when we greet, when we, they get grease on them or something like that. Um, so you're gonna be scrubbing with some Shout to begin with. And once you have scrubbed pretty thoroughly with uh, through both the shoes, you are then going to go over to the laundry. Okay, so check out this pretty cool nifty bag. I got it off um, Amazon. It was like 15 bucks for a set of two of these. They're really awesome. Um, and they have just like a little zipper and you stuff your shoes in there and they're significantly more safe to put in the washer as you will see me doing. But before you put them in the bag, make sure that you are checking to take the insoles out. I could not take the insoles out of the Clifton edges. They're built right in. So I was like, hmm, I'm just gonna risk it for the biscuit on these. But yeah, if you can take the insole out, it is significantly recommended just from other reviews I've seen. It seems to be a good idea if you can, because they can get waterlogged or just kind of like deteriorate, I think. Um, you also wanna put something else in there with them. I just grabbed kind of an old beach towel. Okay, so this is also a pretty big one. You're going to wanna to use a clear detergent. I don't care if you get a fragrance one. Mine is fragrance free. Um, but yeah, you definitely want clear detergent. And finally, right before you get going, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it is set to delicate. And you're also gonna be doing probably the shortest load, um, shortest cycle you have on your machine. And obviously, um, cold water, cold, cold. No warm, no hot, cold, cold. Don't put hot water in your shoes. It might be fine, but it's not what I did. Okay, so now you've got your shoes going through the first uh, cycle in the wash, you can get back to those laces. Um, so what I did here was just drop them in my bathroom sink and I splay, I splayed, I sprayed them with a little bit of this Clorox, Clorox and bleach, the liquid killer of all things. Yeah, I don't know, give it a couple good sprays with that and you're just gonna run some water on them, shake them up a bit. You'll see immediately most of the dirt kind of coming out of them um, and just let them soak for a little bit. I'm gonna give them 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so while your laces are still soaking, you can wait a bit and eventually your shoes will get done with their first cycle. This is why I recommended doing a shorter cycle so that you know within 20, 30 minutes, you can go and grab your shoes out of there. You're gonna take them out of the bag, bring them back to the, the operating table that is your bathtub or another safe space. So this time you're gonna be uh, spraying and scrubbing with that same Clorox cleaner bleach. 
Again, disclaimer, I don't really know if this is gonna ruin someone's shoes. It hasn't ruined both pairs that I've done, so it's what I used. Also, probably I would recommend maybe wearing gloves and even a mask if you're like very sensitive to the smell and the pheromones of Clorox slash bleach, which I think everyone is, but like you could, some people can just deal with it a little bit better. Okay, so once you've given them a good scrub, you can go, you're gonna put them back in the bag, put them back in the washer machine for a second round, make sure it still has a towel in there. You can put a little bit more of that clear detergent on there so that it is super sudsy, uh, mixed with that Clorox, and you can put it on another cold, cold, delicate cycle. Okay, so this is a really good time that you can go grab those laces. You're gonna kind of rinse them out. I did this little kind of like, pinch and pull technique. Um, maybe I should patent that, but that was a really, seemed like a pretty good way to quickly dry them so that they weren't dripping while I hung them up. So, and that's exactly what I did. I just, you take them out, drain them, rinse them, and you can go hang them up someplace. And that's all you need to do with the laces for now. Okay, so once your shoes finish up on their second cycle, um, I went over, I uh, took them out. Mine were pretty darn uh, sudsy still from the detergent slash the Clorox. So I took them to the bathroom and just kind of rinsed them off a little bit, gave them a good squeeze, gave the upper a good squeeze just to get as much as I could out of it. All right, so the final step I'm gonna do here is just give them a quick blow dry. This is not gonna do the whole drying process. It's just to get things going um, so that they are not puddling wherever you leave them. I would recommend someplace outdoors, like a porch or a balcony where they can get some sunlight. I don't have the opportunity, so I'm just gonna set them up here in the hallway with some paper towels underneath. You're gonna wanna let these sit for about 24 to 48 hours just so they can get completely dry before you lace them up and give them a go. But I think it's time that we take a look at how the cleaning worked on these two pairs of shoes. Alright everybody, that is going to wrap up this video. That is how I clean my running shoes. Please let me know if you have any tips or tricks in your process when it comes to cleaning up those running shoes and making sure they're nice and clean so they can get dirty again for your next long run. Hopefully you got something out of this video. Please like, comment, or subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. That's probably so loud through the microphone.